offering of the Holy Mass. Accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And the Word is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech, we beseech you, you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace, grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle, Makati City. Today is the memorial of St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the special intentions of Pope Francis and for the good health of Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Also for the special intentions of our Superior General, Father Valdir Jose de Castro, SSP, and for all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. Also for the special intentions of George Vargas, J.V. Vargas, J.V. and Christine Borja and family, Mary Jane Ostani, De Rojas Comendador, families, Cynthia Flores, Jojo and Nympha Nagun, Jocelyn Inot, Bianca Camille Dionisio, Gilberto Advincula, Pauline Marie Villanueva, SBCM Batch 2019, Dr. Hudson Conor and Son, Jasmine and Macy, Faye, Sam and Sid Bautista, Nympha Salvador and Family, Connie Guiang and Family, Divine Agoncillo and Family, Mads Nadera and family, Carl Martin and Jean Pauline, Dumawal and Jose Halak. 
for the thanksgiving of Joan de Rojas del Rosario, Nymphanagun Cecilia Catalan, Alejandro Vargas, Ginian Christine, Evelyn Tuano, LJ Diam, and Mena Agapito. For the good health of Elena Hau, Pedro Peña, Gis de los Santos, Mayuris Defensor, Del Pilar and Nagun family, Renato, Enot, and family, Mr. and Mrs. Vilma Dionisio, Advincula family, Nasol Barreto and Alcove families, Cindy Ejercito and family, Aner and Resali Marquez, Bethilda Gamir, Remedios Toledo, and Marcus Craig Viray. For the healing and recovery of Herbert Garong, Don Alivardo, Roberto Calves, Dionisia Rongavilla, Ana Silva Naco, Leonardo Del Pilar Jr., Herminia de Belen, Rosenda Inot, Ning Ning Cervantes, Gilberto Advincula, Felix Cateron, Marjorie, Marjorie Vistro, Carlin Sunga Gamir, Jemeline Ruiz, Alejandro Gabriel Ibay, Beth Avendaño, Priscilla Bernal, Dominador Orlina Jr., and Jad Teodoro. We also pray for all the souls in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19, those who are enrolled in simple mass association, and all your intentions offered through Sambuhay TV Mass. Entrance Antiphon, the Lord established for him a covenant of peace and made him the prince that he might have the dignity of the priesthood forever. In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me to the Lord our God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, you must say what is consistent with sound doctrine, namely, the older men should be temperate, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, love, and endurance. Similarly, older women should be reverent in their behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to drink, teaching what is good so that they may train younger women to love their husbands and children, 
to be self-controlled, chaste, good homemakers, under the control of their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Urge the younger men similarly to control themselves, showing yourself as a model of good deeds in every respect, with integrity in your teaching, dignity and sound speech that cannot be criticized, so that the opponent will be put to shame without anything bad to say about us. For the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and train, training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness, and to cleanse for himself a people of his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his ways. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. The just shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, Who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat, Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning po, mga kasambuhay. Hindi po ba normal at dapat lang na mag-expect ang employer na gagawin ng employee ang kanyang trabaho? At ganun din ang kabilang panig. Normal at dapat lang na mag-expect ang employee ng sapat at tamang sweldo mula sa kanyang employer. Give and take, ika nga, para patas. Pero hindi naman palaging patas. Hindi po ba may mga empleyadong tamad gawin ang kanilang trabaho? At may mga employer na mababang magpasweldo. Pero goodness should start somewhere. Hindi po ba gaganahan ang employer magtaas at magbigay ng sapat na sweldo kapag masipag ang employee? At kung ang employee ay masipag, at ang employer ay mataas at sapat magbigay ng sweldo, gaganahan ang employee magtrabaho at lalagpasan pa niya ang expected sa kanya. 
goodness should start somewhere. Kadalasan ganun, pero hindi naman palagi. Sa atin pong pagbasa ng Ebanghelyo, ginamit ni Jesus ang example ng relationship na ito. At kung hindi tayo maingat sa pag-interpret sa mga sinabi ng ating Panginoon, baka sabihin natin, napaka-demanding naman ni Lord, napaka-demanding naman niya. Ang isang empleyado na galing sa pagtatanim o galing sa pagpapastol at dumating sa bahay na pagod na pagod ay uutusan pa rin. Paghanda mo ako ng pagkain, pagkatapos ko, tsaka ka na kumain. Kung hindi po tayo maingat, darating po tayo sa ganong konklusyon, ganong interpretasyon. Pero tama naman ang picture na inilarawan ng ating Panginoon. At sinabi niya ito para ituro ang dalawang napakahalagang aral para sa ating mga Kristiyano. Ano ang unang aral? Una, aral sa attitude natin sa panalangin. Kasi kadalasan sa ating panalangin, meron tayong listahan. Binibigyan natin ng listahan ng Panginoon ng ating kailangan, hindi lang ng ating kailangan, ng ating gusto. At madalas, gustong mangyari. Kaya para tuloy, dinidiktahan natin ang ating Panginoon. Ang Panginoon ay hindi po natin dinidiktahan. Ang panalangin ay hindi tayo nagde-demand na para bang naniningil tayo. Masakit sa tenga ang unang aral ng ating Ebanghelyo. Ano po yun? Kailanman hindi nagkaroon ng utang na loob sa atin ang Panginoon. Madalas kasi, kapag tayo ay nananalangin, sinusumbat natin, sinusumbatan natin ang Panginoon, Lord, hindi naman ako ganyan, hindi naman ako katulad ng iba dyan eh. Lord, nagsisimba naman ako. Lord, kahit papaano, tumutulong ako sa aking kapwa para tayong naniningil ng utang na loob. Hindi po ba ang sarap maningil sa isang taong may utang na loob sa atin. Ang sarap-sarap ipangalandakan may utang na loob ka sa akin. Eh lahat naman tayo nagkaroon ng utang na loob. At sa ating karanasan, masarap magkaroon ng utang na loob sa taong mabuti. Pero Diyos ko po, naku po, kapag tayo ay nagkaroon ng utang na loob sa masamang tao, walang katapusang sumbat Walang katapusang paniningil. Hindi po ganoon ang Panginoon. Pero ang unang aral ay eh, parang bad news. Yun nga, kailanman hindi nagkaroon ng utang na loob sa atin ang Panginoon. Pangalawa, ang good news. At ang good news ay aral sa pananampalataya. Bilang tunay na Kristiyano, ano man ang ating gawin sa ngala ng paglilingkod ay tugon o response lamang sa kanyang kabutihan. Ibig sabihin, tayo ang nagkaroon ng utang na loob sa Diyos. Hindi siya. Siya ang unang nagmahal, hindi tayo. Pero hindi natin nakikita madalas ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Sa katapusan, baka tayo ang hindi tumatanaw ng utang na loob sa ating Diyos sa kabila ng Kanyang pagmamahal at kabutihan sa atin. Kung hindi tama ang pagtrapto natin sa ating kapwa-tao, wala tayong utang na loob. Kung sapat man ang ating sweldo pero tamad tayong empleyado, wala tayong utang na loob. Kung employer tayo na kulang magpasweldo at maraming pinapagawa sa ating mga empleyado, wala tayong utang na loob. 
sa makatuwid, we truly are unprofitable servants. And perhaps we should never call ourselves Christians. Magpalain nawa tayo ng ating Diyos. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we may learn from Jesus' Son the spirit of loving service. Father, keep us in your service. Father, keep us in your service. That the Pope, the bishops, and priests may faithfully serve in the household of faith with diligence and dedication. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That leaders in our society may become true servants by diligent effort in bringing the common good to all rather than seeking their selfish gains. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That we may grow in our commitment to justice and love through our dedicated service in everyday life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your service. service. That those who render service to the sick may witness to Jesus, who is the servant of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep us in your service. That our divine Master may grant our faithful departed their heavenly reward for their loving service on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your service. service. God, our Father, fill our hearts with your love. Give us your saving help when we fail and keep us always in your care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we owe for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we owe for you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to see us. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all, His Holy Church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. This right. And just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down 
your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our own Father, and so we have the confidence to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart, detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Communion Antiphon, Peter said to Jesus, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus replied, You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Olatio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we, we come to you in our need to ask, ask your protection your against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. lives. We, we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures, cures for, for this disease and to stem its transmission. <coughs> Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray we for, for those afflicted. afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Do not, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious, glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Blessed James Alberione, pray for us. Blessed Timothy Jacardo. Pray for us. The Society of St. Paul and St. Paul's are appealing for cash donations for our brothers and sisters in the Bicol region who are greatly affected by the super typhoon Raleigh. You may send your cash donations to St. Paul Seminary Foundation Incorporated bank accounts. Please note your fund transfer Ayuda Albay. Please see bank details on the screen. Gathered funds will be forwarded to the Diocesan Social Action Center of the Diocese of the Gaspi. 
Thank you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may all my prayer for the souls. Please all kneel. Hear us, O merciful Father, as we remember in love our departed loved ones whom we have placed in your hands. Acknowledge, we pray, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy, in the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and in the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass ascended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a blessed day ahead. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, draw everyone to your school. Jesus Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, For make me Lord your faithful the... imitator. Yes. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, Live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, may my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. To the Father, and to Amen. The Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Prayer to the souls in Purgatory Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, through the intercession of Mary and all the saints, free the souls of the faithful departed from the punishments of Purgatory, and through the intercession of Saint Michael, standard bearer of the heavenly army, Guide them to the holy light promised to Abraham and to his descendants. I offer you, Lord, sacrifices and prayers of praise. Accept them for these souls and admit them to eternal joy. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. 
for the nations obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Morning by morning, I will silence all the wicked in the land, uprooting from the city of the Lord all who do evil. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer together. So that your people may walk in innocence, you came to us, Lord Jesus, and told us to be holy as your Father is holy. 